The first ships have resumed cruising in the last few weeks, but disaster has struck again, possibly sinking crews for the foreseeable future. With COVID outbreaks on several ships around the world, have cruise lines put wealth before health? You're going to want to stick around for this one as we ask the question, did cruising start too soon? Well, ahoy there, there cruisers. cruisers. I'm David and this is Ben. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure you hit subscribe. Welcome. Oh, so we have some bad news. Here's all those details of the ships that have been struck by the virus once again. Let's start with the biggest outbreak. This has happened on the Norwegian expedition cruise line Herty Gruten aboard their ship Royal Amsden. Uh, guys, it's proper sad news. The company is a small ship expedition cruise line and coastal ferry operator. Herty Gruten was in fact one of the first cruise lines to resume sailing in June following the voluntary suspension of all sailings back in March. Well, what's happened? Well, 36 crew members have been confirmed of having the virus out of the 158 crew members on board. So this is really substantial. And the bad news is that all of the crew members are completely asymptomatic, which means they're showing no symptoms of being ill at all. This just really goes to show how awful COVID can be, and it can go basically unnoticed if not tested in people. They were only tested because some other crew members were showing different symptoms of a non-related virus, so it was literally done by accident. On the positive side, this means that the other 122 members of the crew who have been tested have came back with negative test results. Herty Gruten said the 29 crew members who tested positive were from the Philippines, Norway, France and Germany, so it wasn't even just from one region. The ship was scheduled to sail again last week, but now all expedition sailings on the ship and a few other ships have now been cancelled because of this. So what is really bad with this is that the outbreak was only found after two sailings have actually taken place. So just imagine all of those passengers, up to 400 of them who could have contracted and now spread the virus. Herty Gruten has contacted the passengers who sailed on the July 17th cruise and July 24th sailings. The 209 guests from the first voyages and 178 from the second will now be required to self-quarantine in line with Norwegian Health Authority regulations. But is it too late? It's been over two weeks since some of those cruises happened. Just imagine all of the places they've been, have they used... Um, public transport, have they been to work, seen other family members, they could have spread it much, much more. So this could be a really bad situation. They are, they are definitely further at risk of spreading the virus. At the moment, the ship remains docked in Tromsø, Norway, with no passengers, but 154 crew members on board. The company said it will help passengers with transportation, accommodation, food, or any other needs that they may have. Herty Gruten said, we are now focusing all available efforts in taking care of our guests and colleagues. Due to passengers traveling in close quarters throughout the entire transfer and boarding process, there are concerns that this could affect the ports of call visited, as well as the communities the passengers have since returned to. It's bad. Is this going to be responsible for another outbreak? This is obviously very concerning and really asks the question, did cruising resume too soon? Is it right for cruise lines to be sailing right now, especially with no vaccination ready and still very little known about the virus? Yeah. And do you think that this will lead to further delays with other cruise lines starting operations? We know MSC were looking at starting operations and are still planning to at the end of the month. Do you think they'll be looking at this situation and pushing it down the line? Well, former Windstar Cruises president John Delanet said, Cruise lines appear to have ignored the signs in attempt to resuming services too quickly. These are the first revenue cruises to resume and already COVID and cruise ships are back in the news in the first week. Everybody wants cruising to come back, but rushing things to chase revenue will continue to hurt our industry and make the road to recovery more difficult. This has now given people like the CDC and other health organizations around the world the open opportunity as well as the excuse to once again ban sailing and say, we told you so. 
it will also be used to prove their case that cruising right now is not the right time. This really does feel like a significant step back. It's really depressing for us and you guys who love cruising. But what do you think? Do you think cruising should be cancelled until we have a vaccine? But still, cruises are still being held to a higher standard than everybody else. Yeah. We think things like flights and restaurants should also be closed if, if cruises aren't going to take place as well. But we have to remember again that cruise lines are the only industry to report this sickness. Mm -hmm. The virus is everywhere regardless of what type of transportation or anywhere you go. Just this week in New York, the New York Times has attributed over 650 cases to airlines, restaurants, fitness centres and other large gatherings of people, including churches. We need to remember that this is just not a shipborne disease. This has been not caused by cruises or cruise lines. It's people bringing it back on board. But the big question is, again, is this too early? Is it revenue over safety? It's also heartbreaking as well, looking at how much effort the cruise lines have put in to make it as safe as possible. But it just shows that you still can't get away from the virus spreading on these ships. Absolutely. Hertie Groot and themselves had real comprehensive plans to stop the virus getting on board from spreading. But look, it's already happened. So it just goes to show you these things will not work with the virus. It will still get through. But this isn't the only outbreak this week. Paul Galgwing have just started sailing again from Tahiti. The Paul Galgwing embarked on a seven day cruise out of Tahiti, touring the Society Islands, including Bora Bora and Taha. It was one of the very first cruises to sail post COVID. It only resumed international sailings last Wednesday. The ship, which has a capacity of 332 passengers, was just under half full. However, a woman from the USA has been tested positive by the ship's doctors and the ship has returned to Tahiti, where all passengers have been confined to cabins. A specialist team boarded the ship in Papati, Tahiti to test all passengers and crew. The family member that she is travelling with has tested negative. They have been placed in isolation in Tahiti. The rest of the passengers and crew have been kept on board the ship and all passengers and crew have been told that they will be tested. The company again had set up comprehensive procedures and protocols to stop the transmission of the virus, including the use of masks, a full health check and screening by the ship's medical staff, extra cleaning, as well as social distancing. But again, this hasn't stopped the virus from getting on the ship. And just over a week ago, 10 crew members tested positive on a, on a German cruise line, the Costa cruise line Aida. This happened on the ships Aida Blue and Aida Mar. When crew members learned they tested positive for COVID-19 after boarding the ships in Rostock, Germany. This happened back on July the 22nd. It was planning to resume cruising later this month, whether or not this will happen, but Aida have cancelled short cruises on August 5th and 12th. The trips which were due to be sea days only were due to sail from Hamburg and Warnemunde in the north of Germany. And finally, in Italy, on the Carnival-owned Costa Cruise Line, three crew members of Costa Favolosa and Deliosa have tested positive for the virus during regular checks. Oh man, this is happening all over the place. It's so yeah. sad. I just want to slap my head and be like, no, it's too early. But I also really want to stress and reiterate that this isn't us attacking the cruise lines. Oh, not at all. Because we can still go on flights. We can still go to hotel Restaurants, resorts. Yeah. And restaurants and theme An parks. An all-inclusive resort, which is yep. basically a, 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 a cruise on land. So it's not just, we're not aiming at cruise here. No. We're just saying that it's happening. But the problem is, is that because cruise lines have to report these sicknesses and have to report these health st statistics, that it just shines a massive spotlight on the industry in a really negative way. And it's awful to see. Yeah, so the outbreaks on the Costa ship happened just before it was about to resume sailing. Costa said the three were in isolation and in good health. But by gosh, that's three different outbreaks from all around the world, isn't it? It's yeah. just really awful. And just before we say goodbye, there's a way that you can really help us out, which doesn't cost you an actual penny or anything else. Ooh. If you're planning to buy anything on Amazon, please help us out by clicking our affiliate link in the description section below. As we said, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but Amazon give us a little kickback every time that you buy something. It helps us to bring you more content and helps us out with expensive things like travel and extra equipment to bring you even better videos. So please use our affiliate link. If you're going to use Amazon, you can find them in the description section below. We have one for Amazon UK and Amazon USA.
Thank you so much for your support. So that's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if enjoyed is the right word. We certainly didn't enjoy bringing this to you. It's it very is. depressing news. Yeah, it's heartbreaking to see the cruise industry really trying hard to get back to cruising as safe as possible. But it just feels inevitable that these things are going to happen on ships, just like they're going to ha happen on all types of transportation. We are really gutted. We truly are, guys. It's really sad news. We absolutely in no way enjoy bringing this to you. As we said, we were still going to bring you all of the news, whether it's good or bad. That's what separates us from other channels on YouTube. No matter the news, we will bring it to you quickly and accurately. And if we get something wrong, we'll say we got it wrong. Yeah. And thank you to all our Patreon supporters. You can find out more about Patreon in the description section below. And our captain of the week is Michael. So ahoy, ahoy. there, Michael. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.